The white libs are at it again. Uh, this white liberal is just basically like flogging himself on social media and it is so ungodly cringe. Why is it that white folks support anti-blackness, racism, and white supremacist culture in so many goddamn fucking ways? Why is it that we support it through our silence, our defensiveness, our denial, that code of silence? Let's not talk about it. Let's ignore it. All that fucking gymnastics, that defensiveness, the fucking anger, the passive aggressiveness, the stereotyping, the overt, covert racist, all the shit that we do, the gaslighting, all that fucking shit that we do as white people. Why can't we just leave black people the fuck alone? You know, I really would like white people like I really, really wish you would leave us alone. I really wish that you would stop trying to save us. I really wish that you would stop trying to tell us how to speak, how to think and how to believe. And what I really wish is that you would stop trying to save us. Who are you doing this for? All right. Because you're not doing this for other white people like you're not. And this is what I hate about, like, the white libs that are on social media. It's because you're not really trying to do this to for other white people. Like, you're not really doing this to wake other white people up. You're not really having this conversation for other white people. You're having this conversation so that you can get pats on the back from these sad, pathetic black libs on social media that will love you as long as you reinforce their victimhood mindset and their victimhood mentality. It drives me up the wall. Like it drives me absolutely crazy because you're not doing this for white people. You're not doing this to wake up white people. You're not actively really whatever it is that you think that white people are doing to black people to oppress us and to make us victims and to do all that stuff. You're not saying this for them. You're saying this so that you can get woke points from black libs, the ones that you think that you basically treat like special needs children because you think that getting a voter ID is racist. You think that everything is racist. You think that we have no autonomy in our lives. You think that we just walk around as these professional victims. That's who you want sort of pats on the back on TikTok from. You know, you're not doing this for white people. And by the way, if I was this dude, I would be worrying about like, I would be worrying about what you're eating. Like I would be worrying about this dude is like struggling to breathe, making a TikTok video in his car. I think that whatever white people are doing to black people should be the least of his problems. And again, what I always get into and what this always boils down to is it always boils down to individualism versus collectivism. All right. I am an individualist. All right. I am not a group of I'm not a member of some monolith like I will speak of black people in our issues sometimes like because there are cultural things or whatever. But I believe that fundamentally there are tens of millions of black people in this world or excuse me, uh, in this country. All right. And there's also tens of millions of, of white people in this country as well. They are all individuals. They can all make their choices. So it's this collectivist mindset. And this is the lib mindset. Like this is the Democrat lib mindset. It's this collectivist mindset that says that we all need to come together and we all need to do this. And when we all need to come together and do something, then that somehow always um, translates to creating more laws for the federal government um, to make these things happen. And that is what irritates me the most about guys like this guy.